hey guys welcome back to automation elan in this video i am going to discuss few keyboard shortcuts on github nearly all the pages all the features on github has shortcut but i am going to talk about five useful shortcut which will improve your productivity and which will definitely useful in your day to day life while working on github so let's get started so here i am on github i am referring git reset project and here we will learn and practice five shortcuts on github so my first shortcut is if you press t on your keyboard then github will show you one search box which is basically under git reset under your repository so in this search box you can type and you can search anything all the files and folders everything which are present under git reset repository so let's say i want to search sample.txt so here i can see i have one sample.txt which is directly under git reset at the root of project and i have another sample.txt which is under count folder and i have another one which is under new test folder so using this search box you can search if you know the name or few text of your file that you are looking for it will show you all the files which is matching with your search term so this we can get by pressing t on our keyboard and from here i can select and i can open that file so here i am referring sample.txt under count folder from here let's continue to learn our second shortcut which is to edit the file so normally to edit the file you need to click on this icon right edit this file to edit this file sample.txt shortcut is if you press e on your keyboard then directly you can open the editor where you can edit this file and you can make changes you can commit everything so no need to go and press the the edit icon so directly you can type e on your keyboard and you can edit sample.txt or any other file that you have selected let's go to root of the project my third shortcut is if you press dot on your keyboard then you can open github.dev browser editor where you can access your project whole repository and uh, you can work with your project you can modify you can commit you can raise a pull request you can merge you can use lot of other extensions based on the need we can perform all the actions that we we do on any editor on local so if you press dot this editor will open where you can browse and make changes accordingly so this is the browser based editor which is tightly integrated with github directly so in the browser url also you can see we are still on github so this is called github.dev feature i have already discussed this feature where i have explained all the concepts and uh, how to use it how to make changes raise pull request everything in this video you can refer this from my github playlist and you can learn this feature let's go to github.com repository my next shortcut is related to search feature on github so if you press s on your keyboard so the focus would be on the search here i can search based on the repository or based on the files or you can also look for any function or code etc so let's say i want to search sample dot txt so here i have a three options whether i want to look i want to search for sample dot txt in this repository or i want to search for this particular file or text in this user so in this user as in the user using which i am logged in currently if the logged in user has 10 repositories then github will go and search for this particular file or text on all 10 repositories and shows the result third option is on all github so 
on github.com whatever repositories we have all the public repositories so it will go and scan all the public repositories and look for the search term it can be either code or file or anything function name etc so directly if you press s on your keyboard you can focus on the search box and you can start typing next shortcut is related to navigating through various tabs that we have on github so on any repositories we get code issues pull request actions all these are tabs right so how we can navigate through these tabs these features or these options using keyboard so this is called g combination keyboard shortcut so on the keyboard if i'll press g and i then i'll move to issues if i'll press g and t then i'll move to pull request on a similar way if i'll press g and a i'll move to actions and again if i want to come back to code then press g and c i will come back to code tab so here g means github c for code i for issues p for pull request a for actions similarly for other tabs also we have dedicated shortcut if you want to know all the shortcuts which is applicable on github then you can press question mark on your keyboard and you can see all the shortcut here like go to code g c go to issues g i go to actions g a similarly for other features also we have dedicated shortcut and if you really want to understand this shortcut in detail in depth then you can refer this url and you can learn many more but i genuinely believe if you go and refer tons of shortcuts then you will be end up using none of them so that is the reason i specifically brought five shortcuts only which are very useful which i am using on my daily life while working on github so my recommendation would be for any application or any software try to learn the minimum shortcut that is very very useful for you do not go and try to learn 20 30 shortcuts in in one go let's learn five and apply them while working on the software or while using that particular website and once you are hands on then go and learn another five so likewise we can learn and we can apply while working otherwise we will be like forgetting and messing up the shortcuts and which is of no use right so those were five shortcuts which i wanted to talk and uh, i hope you have found this discussion useful and you have learned something new today from this video please reach out to me if you have any doubts or any questions please subscribe to this channel to learn many other concepts and features thank you for running this one thank you